Hey, people. It's Coach Simmons here, and I think it's time. We've waited long enough. We've heard all the stuff about how the Power Five wants to break away from the FBS, and now we're hearing the Group of Five wants to potentially have their own playoffs. What's this going to do? It's going to trickle down to the FCS in the land of HBCUs. And right now, with contracts being what they are, contracts coming up, people actually getting paid money instead of getting paid exposure. It is time for a super conference for the HBCU. Now, we can do this one of two ways. We can either do it as a legitimate, full-fledged super conference or a football-only conference. The same way the UAC started. Football only at first. But with these teams, these teams included, we can definitely do it. And yes, if we wanted to have the Celebration Bowl be the end all be all, we can still do it. But instead of having just one conference championship, we can actually make a legitimate HBCU playoff. If we're determined to make ourselves separate than everybody else, we can have it. By just having these teams agree to have a divisional championship, you have the nine at the bottom, or ten at the bottom, have them at the top. On the first week of December, the top two from each region or division will play each other. That winner will go to the Celebration Bowl. Right now, the money is out there. And we hear everything about we need to get exposure. Exposure. People only saw us. Having this kind of conference not only puts the rivals together, it brings new rivalries in. We're also bringing old ones back. By having Alabama A&M and Alabama State, the Alabama schools basically play in the reformed MEAC with Tennessee State. What you're going to have is a stronger region. Yeah, I know. It kind of doesn't make sense geographically to have the schools from Mississippi have to go past Alabama to get to Florida. But when it comes time for the travel time, you know why the Florida schools left the MEAC, right? Alabama schools are technically closer to those MEAC schools than FAMU and Bethune Cookman are. Bringing back Hampton, bringing back AT, and bringing in Tennessee State gives you markets, gives you the Charlotte market, the DC market, the Nashville market, the Alabama Birmingham market to go along with the South for the New Orleans market, the Arkansas market, Houston market, and of course, Tallahassee market. By having these markets together in one super conference, you potentially have some of the biggest markets in the FCS. When it comes time to negotiate, negotiate, and negotiation shouldn't go less than five, possibly 12 million. Even if you get Amazon Prime deal for $20 million a year, it's still a hell of a lot better than the deals you already got. And what that means, that quite frankly means the money should break in. And one thing we know HBCUs need is money. But why not? Think outside the box. 
build that HBCU Super Conference and have more games mean more to us. It's Coach Simmons. This is just a thought for the day. A thought process, if you will. I'm out.